14% of total greenhouse gas emissions in the world come from the transportation sector. In a society threatened by climate change, we should try to reduce emissions from all sectors. However, this sounds almost impossible when we focus on transportation. This sector is among the fastest growing ones. In particular, there is a very clear long-term trend that suggests that the number of cars in the world will keep increasing for a while. So is there anything at all we can do to make transportation more sustainable? Before answering that question, I think it's better to get a little deeper inside this problem so we can understand its roots. One thing to keep in mind is we don't use cars simply because they are awesome or because they are more convenient than other means of transportation, but because since cars have become popular, they have been shaping our society and the way we live. Some people call it car lifestyle problem, and we can try to summarize how it works in this simplified graph. At first, only a few people could afford cars. But as cars became cheaper and people began to earn more money, Cars ownership began to increase. This created the possibility to live far away from the city center and from the workplace, which in turn led to the expansion of suburban areas. This is a typical feedback. Now even more people would move to the cheaper suburban areas, and we created huge regions of the city where it's basically impossible to live without a car. This evolution is still going on today, and of course it varies a lot from one town to the next or one country to the other. Now to understand the problem better, Let's list some factors that make this vicious circle even stronger. As we said, cities have adjusted to car lifestyle, so probably the best way for you to buy groceries is a big supermarket on the other side of the town, where you will probably go around once a week and buy enough stuff so you will need the car to carry all the stuff back home. Probably the fastest way for you to go to work is by car, and it can also be the safest, the most comfortable and sometimes even the cheapest option. Then another important factor is the status. For many people, owning a car feels like a step in their lives that needs to be done sooner or later. And actually, the sooner, the better. It's like something that you need to have before becoming a real adult. These people will probably buy a car, and once you spend thousands of euros on something, you're very likely to use it, even if you don't really need it. Another big problem is kids. Parents use the car much more on average, because they need to drive their kids to school, to the gym, or any other club or activity. They choose to drive even when other options are available mainly for safety concerns or time saving. I read about this in articles, but honestly, I met many people in real life who really use their cars much more because of their kids, often complaining about traffic jams and not even considering other options. So how does knowing these things help us? I promised I will give you some solutions for the problem, but I'm afraid you might not like them. There are some very easy and well-known solutions that have been around for years. Walk more, cycle more, look for different options and cars, Share your car if you really need to use the car. Try to drive not as fast. Try to have the right pressure in your tires. Now, let me tell you something. Some studies estimate that 40% of car trips already have a good alternative and that another 40% might have one with little infrastructure change. This means that in a couple of years, we could actually reduce car use by 80% and that's incredible. However, the truth is that changes like this can only happen if we really want them and the price we have to pay is simply getting rid of the car lifestyle. This might require doing things that we don't want to do, like going to work by bicycle when it's cold and raining, or allowing our children to walk to school alone. Maybe we will have to raise our voices and apply political pressure so that we can obtain sustainable solutions that are safe and comfortable for everyone. Many of us should choose not to own a car at all. Actually, this is already true for many cities in the world which is a proof that it is possible and it actually works pretty well for very obvious reasons. There's less pollution locally and globally. People are more healthy because they move more. People who do drive don't have as much traffic. On average, sustainable transportation is much cheaper than owning and driving a car. So maybe from tomorrow, try and do an experiment. Live according to a new lifestyle where you don't own a car and you don't even want one. Imagine what the world around you would look like or should look like in order for you to like it. And maybe do what you can to really start living that life, because that's the way we can change things, by changing ourselves. Thanks for watching.